Hello, and welcome back to the Wells Family Journey. I'm Damien. So, today, I would like to talk about finding something in your mailbox that you've been waiting on for a long time. All right. See you back in a couple seconds. All right, welcome back. So, today we're going to be talking about finding something in your mailbox that you've been waiting on for a long time. So, many kids, when we're younger, excuse me, when we're younger, as kids, we, we're always waiting for, you know, our birthday cards, um, Valentine's Day cards, Easter gifts, Christmas gift cards, you know, just, we're just waiting for the, the mail to come because we always have packages and gift cards with money in it that we're waiting for, excuse me, waiting from, waiting for, oh my God, I can't talk today, waiting for from our loved ones, you know, in different parts of the city, different states, and sometimes even different countries. So... I, I know uh, in a couple of my earlier videos, I started reading a few books. Um, actually, hold on. Let me, let me go get these books. I should, I should have grabbed these books before I start recording. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see that. Got a lot of glare from the camera. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Uh, it is. Oh, my God. Chilling Ghost, chilling ghost Short Stories. I can't, I can't get any angle right with, with these, these new lights that I got. Oh my God. <laughs> I got to work on that. Do some more studying about how to use box lights and umbrella lights so that everything is not getting a glare. I even got like a soft screen. I, I purchased a soft screen for uh, my box light so that it would uh, soften the light that, that's being cast down, but it's not working. So any which way, go, getting back to it, I got a book in the mail that I have been wanting to, to get and read for, for a while. Um, if you don't know, I am a Halloween enthusiast. I love Halloween. I think Halloween is one of the, the best holidays out the year, at least for me. I tell, I tell people that Halloween is my Christmas. I just love Halloween. So the book that I got in the mail, let's see if I can reach it. The book that I got in mail is an Edgar Allan Poe, and it is Edgar Allan Poe Complete Tales and Poems. When I was in high school, I was uh, part of the, the Shakespeare drama class, and we were constantly reading Shakespeare, and we, we, we read a few uh, few short tales and I guess sonnets, I don't know which what you'll call it, from uh from Poe, Edgar Allan Poe, and I loved it. You know, it was kind of dark, it was cheer uh dreary a little bit. And I, I liked it. Like I said, I, I love Halloween. I, I love uh ghosts and goblins and spirits, things like that. They that stuff interests me. So I had ordered a few books in the past and when I got it, it, you know, they were great. They're, they're good stories and whatnot. I enjoyed them, but there wasn't a lot of, uh, works from Poe in it. I'm like, I really want a book with Poe in it. So I was up late one night, you know, doing what we as adults do, just browse the internet, watching, you know, stupid things. You know, dogs doing tricks and, you know, just stupid things on the internet. And I was like, you know what? Let me jump on eBay, which I've been trying to stay off of eBay because when when I get on eBay, I find that I wind up spending too much money. Does anybody else have that issue? You get on eBay or you get on Amazon and you just start browsing. Next thing you know, in one night, you bought like seven different things that you really didn't need. <laughs> but I tell you what. I found this book on it, and it is a thick book. I don't know how many pages is in here yet. I really 
haven't opened it up, but just peeking in here, it looks like it's over a thousand pages. This is going to be fun. So I want to to read a sh a short uh, a short little poem or something out of here. Let, let's let's just open the book and see what they got. Other than the you know the the first few pages, do, 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 do. you got your introduction. I'm not going to read all of that. So it looks like uh, the first one, first few chapters is about poetry. And if I mispronounce some of these words, please forgive me. I haven't read Shakespeare or Poe in ages. So the first one is O Tempora O Mores. Mores. <laughs> this is going to be fun. O Times. O Manners. It is my opinion. That you are changing sadly your dominion. I mean the reign of manners hath long ceased. For men have none at all or bad at least. And as four times, although tis said by many, the good old times were far the worst of any. Of which sound doctrine I believe each title. Yes, still, I think these were worse than them a little. I've been thinking, isn't that the phrase? I like your Yankee words and Yankee ways. I've been a thinking whether it were best to take things seriously or all in jest. Whether with grim Heraclitus of yore, to weep as he did till his eyes were sore. Or rather laugh with him, that queer philosopher, Democritus or Thrace, who used to toss over. The page of life and grin at the dog's ears. As though he'd say, why, who the devil cares? This is a question which, oh heaven, withdraw. The luckless query from a member's claw. Instead of two sides, job has nearly eight. Each fight to fit, excuse me, each fit to furnish forth four hours debate. What shall be done? I'll lay it on the table and take the matter up when I'm more able. And in the meantime, to vent all the bother. I'll never laugh with one, nor cry with tith the other. Nor do deal in flattery, or aspersions foul, but taking one by each hand, merely growl. Ah, growl, say you, my friend, and pray at what? Why, really, sir, I almost had forgot. But damn it, sir. I deem it a disgrace that things should stare us boldly in the face and daily strut the street with bows and scrapes who would be men by imitating apes. I beg your pardon, reader, for the oath. The monkeys make me swear, though something loath. I'm apt to be discursive in my style. But pray be patient yet a little while. We'll change me, and as the politicians do, I'll mend my manners and my measures too. Of all the cities, and I've seen no few, for I have traveled, friend, as well as you. I don't remember one upon my soul but take it generally upon the whole. As members say they like their logic taken, because divided it may chance be shaken. So pat agreeably and vastly proper, as this for a neat frisky counter hopper. Here he may reveal, revel to his heart's content, flounce like a fish in his own element. Toss back his, fire, his fine curls from their forehead fair. 
and Hapiolor counters with a Vester's air. Complete at night what he began a.m. and having cheated ladies dance with them. For at a ball what fair one can escape the pretty little hand that sold her tape. Or who so cold, so callous to refuse the youth who cut the ribbon for her shoes? One of these fish par excellence, the bow, God help me, it has been my lot to know. At least by sight, for I am a timid man and always keep from laughing if I can. But speak to him, he'll make you such grimace. Lord, to be grave exceeds the power of face. The hearts of all the ladies are with him, their bright eyes on his Tom and Jerry brim. And dove-tailed coat obtained at cost while then, those eyes won't turn anything like men. His very voice a musical delight, his form once seen, Becomes part of sight. In short, his shirt collar, his look, his tone is the beau ideal fancied for Adonis. Philosophers has often held dispute as to the seat of thought in man and brute, for that the power of thought attends the latter. My friend, the beau, hath made settled a matter and spite all excuse me in spite of all dogmas current in all ages one subtle fact is better than ten sages for he does think thou i am oft in doubt if i can tell exactly what about ah yes his little foot and ankle trim tis there the seat of reason lies in him. He then, of course, must shake his foot instead. At me, in vengeance, shall the foot be shaken. Another proof of thought, I'm not mistaken. Because to his cat's eye, eyes, I hold a glass. And let him see himself a proper ass. I think he'll take the likeness to himself. But if he won't, he shall a stupid elf. At least the guessing throw the fool in fits. I close the portrait with the name of Pitts. I love that girl on post. All right, another one real quick. It says, to Margaret. Let's see if I can read this correctly. <laughs> Yeah, that, that might be a hard one. But let's, let's give it a shot. To Margaret, who hath seduced thee to his foul revolt? From the pure well of beauty unfiled? So banish from true wisdom to prefer such squalid wit to honorable rhyme? To write, to scribe, scribble, nonsense, and no more. I will not write upon this argument. To write is human, not to write divine. That's interesting. And one last one before I, before I end this reading. It says, to Octavia. When wit and wine and friends have met, and laughter crowns the fetish hour, in vain I struggle to forget, still does my heart confess thy power. And fondly turn to thee. But Octavia, do not strive to rob my heart of all that soothes its pain. Oh, no. We're going to have to reread that. So. To Octavia. When wit and wine and friends have met and laughter crowns the
the festive hour. In vain I struggle to forget, still does my heart confess thy power, and fondly turn to thee. But Octavia, do not strive to rob my heart of all that soothes its pain. Thy mourn, excuse me, the mournful hope that every throb will make it break for free. All right. So thank you for, for tuning in to this, uh, little vlog about what I got in my mailbox today. I, I love it. Uh, like I said, I do a lot of eBay and a little bit of Amazon, but I, I pretty much am an eBayer. And I just love when I get things in the mail. You know, sometimes it's not what I ordered, you know, the description didn't fit. Well, and once it came, you know, a lot of people with Amazon and eBay, you know, sometimes it's just a hassle to try and return it or try to get a refund. But I am so happy that this book is exactly what they said it was going to be and, and described it to the T. It, it's amazing. And it's even better than I thought it was. You know, in the picture, I thought it was only going to be, you know, like a hundred pages or something like that because they really didn't show it from, from this angle. But this thing is massive. But yeah, I love it. So thank you. If you're still still here, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know, uh, tell a friend about this little up, up, up and coming channel. You know, I'm going to strive to keep doing things, uh, interesting things. You know, if there's something that you want me to try and do, hey, just uh, send me a comment. I'll try and respond back to you as soon as, as, soon as I can. Uh, but as always, be kind to each and every one. And you get a chance, find somebody to try and help out today, you know. Helping somebody is free, and it might mean the world to them, because you never know what that person is going through. A kind word could turn somebody's day from down to, down to up. All right, I'll see you on the next video.